You're watching the number one adventure show, Hooked on Utah, powered by Ford. Hey, welcome to Hooked on Utah. You know, today we've got a fun adventure for you. I got my good buddy, Steve Brown. I mean, if we're talking sports or outdoors in Utah, it's synonymous with Brownie. So he's gonna come along with us today. We're headed to Strawberry early spring. We're gonna try and stick some big fish, throwing jerk baits, kind of a fast technique. Well, it's nice that you thought about an old timer to bring along, so I appreciate it. It's an honor to have you, so sit back, relax and watch Brownie work his magic on these big cutthroats here at Strawberry. You know, you look around, the ice has just come off within the last week. Um, so I think we've got a good chance, Steve. Nobody's here. You know, we're the only, I think there's one other truck. That might tell us something. Yeah, it tells you one of two things. The fishing's tough or it's still a little cool for people. But if people will take the time, and you know this better than anybody else, come up when it's tough, it's cold weather, it's when you normally would think about coming up, you're gonna have some of your best fishing days of the year. Well, there's, yeah, and the other thing is it's a weekday, which is kind of nice that we're both fortunate enough to be able to do that. But even on a weekend right now, there's not a lot of traffic and it's time, if you haven't experienced this time of year at Strawberry, you really, this in the fall, you really haven't fished strawberry. Wow, what a big fish, huh? Okay. What a big fish. Look at that rod just load up nice. You ready? Here he comes. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll get him turned, I'll get him turned up. He doesn't want to come up. Not yet, not yet. One more turn right there. Get him. Wow. That's a that's a five pound fish. Wow. Dude. Look at that fish. These big cutthroats tend to like the shallow water, so don't be afraid to throw it, you know, within about six, eight inches of the of the shore. And what I found in the spring and fall is you'll you'll pick your cutthroats up really close and then out in the deeper water the rainbows will come grab it. Look at that. Yep. We'll do a little searching, we'll work our points that we normally have that we know have produced fish in the past, and then part of it is finding the depth. So we're searching kind of the shallows out to nine to 15 feet with these jerk baits, finding the fish where they're staging at. There we go, fish on, fish baby. Fish on, all right. Fish on. You have a net? This is a rainbow. I can tell you from the, swing him in. Take a look at that. Boom, right there. There's your little planter sized rainbow. But that is, you know, hang him upside down. Just jerk baiting. It only takes a minute to kind of figure him out. So he was out just a little bit deeper. And you want to be careful with the trebles. But if you take a look, you know, there's a good looking little rainbow. Nice little start for the day. We'll get him in the water. There's the other one. Look, there it is, right there. Boom! Yep, right against the boat, too. And long line release. There we go. You don't even have to get your hands wet. Oh! You have a big follow? Oh, I saw it. Yes. just saw the flash. Dude, he came right up to it I again. I twice. Hello. Sorry I missed your call. Oh, I got him. Landed. <laughs> Landed. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, he is coming right at me. Look at this, a quality bow. Okay, this is a quality bow. Steve's phone rings, and uh, so he's talking on the phone. <laughs> he hooks a fish and he hands me his pole and he's like, here, take this. So, I get credit for Steve's fish. It's the only one you that uh, we've landed from my fishing rod, so yeah. you definitely get credit. So, you know, I can show Steve, there's a quality rainbow for this lake. 
but I like it. Somebody call Steve Brown right now so I can catch another fish. Hooked on Utah is proudly presented by Mountain America Credit Union, your home, your business, your life. Browning Firearms and Outdoor Gear, the best there is. And Big O Tires, the team you trust. Kershaw Knife Technology, made in America. Goal Zero, renewable electric power anywhere. Catch the big ones, Gary Yamamoto Custom Base. The Kengar Ford Store in American Fork, 800 by Ford. If you want to get geared up for this week's adventure, then stop into your conveniently located Sportsman's Warehouse. I saw fishing is a great time to be out. Now, select a six foot six rod with a fast tip, couple it with a well-balanced reel for cast and jerk baits. Hey, come into Sportsman's Warehouse, get a rubber net. It'll be a lot easier for you with those treble hooks. It won't hang up like the nylon net I've been using. Sportsman's Warehouse has a wide variety of jerk baits that you'll want to select for your early eye soft. Come in, pick the colors and the styles that you like, and start casting for these big cuts and beautiful rainbows. Line selection can make all the difference this time of year when throwing jerk baits. I'm gonna go with a fluorocarbon in a six pound test, something like this Berkeley Vanish, maybe this P-Line Halo. These are great selections for casting jerk baits. It's okay to take a few fish right in the slot limit when you're early spring fishing, so grab them. Make sure you stop in, get a Kershaw fillet knife and a cutting board. That's the best way to have trout fresh out of the lake. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, nice to see you can finally land one of mine. I was <laughs> old for two, and uh, you caught the third one. Yeah, you know, I try. Trying to keep up with them. They don't call him the Zen Master Brownie for nothing. In fact, they don't call him the Zen Master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he still got it. Still got it. Got Came you. back a second time. That's a good fish. Yeah. That's a good cut. That's a cut throw. It's funny. It's funny. The, uh, the hit was really strange. <laughs> it's rainbow. Take a All look right. at that. Here. There we go. All right, let's get him back in there. Oh, fish on. Good fish. Look at this little bow go, dude. He is a, dude, he is. That's quality rainbow right there. Nice little fatty, gorgeous fish. They're healthy. This is a great time of year to catch them. Uh, absolutely awesome. Now I've caught up to uh, Steve-O, so I'm running neck and neck with him. Put that bad boy in the water. Someone call Steve right now call so me. I can I'm hook up. I'm on the phone. Up. I'm ready to go so he can land another fish for me. Most of the fish we've hooked have been out in 10 to 15 feet of water. And so, you know, it's the trick is finding, you know, the cutthroats could be shallower, laying right up on the rocks, right in the shallows. Um, and they'll do that at this time of year. They'll move right up. And, oh, this is good news. Thank the you phone, for calling, Steve. The phone just rang. There we go. There we go. Better. Yeah, that's not a big fish. Not, notice that you're out there in about 15 feet of water, yep. and that's a rainbow. Yep. Those rainbows are just cruising a little deeper water. He's, he's pulling a little better. Yeah, he is. Nice little rainbow, and he wants to go back, so we will oblige him. You know, the water temperature, folks, My right now is cold. 36 degrees. It's 28 degrees out here, so you get, you get your hand in that water. Nice. Yep, there we go. Oh, double. There we, we got go. a double. Oh, oh. double. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice fish right there. Look at him. That down. is a quality fish. Mine's just a little dinker. He's, uh, he's all right. I'll get rid of he's this guy. Oh yeah. yeah. Mine's gone. Let's get yours in the boat. He's, a, he's not any deep. Fish, but yeah. Oh, that's a quality fish. A nice that's a great looking rainbow. What's he got inside? He's got. He's got some of these. But, <laughs> oh, he's got somebody's power bait in yeah, there. Yeah, he sure does. It'll rust out. Yeah, there, there we go. go. That's a good fish, though. Yeah. Ah, uh, cool. that may be a spring power bait. Yeah. <laughs> There's been some guys with power bait in here. Oh, my. I got a huge fish on here. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, this is a great oh, big yeah. fish. Okay, let me see this is a down. great big fish. I'm. You're over net. the top of me. Net. Yeah, the net. I'll get you. This is a huge fish. Okay. Huge cut. Oh my gosh, this is a huge fish. Oh, Steve, this fish is huge. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. This fish is a monster. Here, you hold this rod for a minute. Oh my, oh my. All right. Woo! Nice, nice. Great fish. This is what ISOF is all about. Unbelievable. That's a tank. Take a look at that. That's beautiful fish, folks. Look at that cut. Hi, I'm Karen Miller Coleman, Doug Miller's daughter. This year, Ducks Unlimited turned 75 years old. And this week's look back at my dad's favorite wild places and wild things. He shares his love for DU and Utah's waterfowl. Enjoy this look back and get hooked on Utah. <laughs> Ducks Unlimited conserves, restores, and manages wetlands and associated habitats for North America's waterfowl. It's been that way since DU was organized in 1936. But until just the last few years, little of that wetlands work has occurred in Utah. We're the crossroads of the West for waterfowl. We get birds from Pacific Flyway and the Central Flyway. And you know, a million mallards, almost a million pintails, and, and a couple million other birds that come through here, and it's, it's, it's really overlooked. Farmington Bay was the recipient of a DU project that created new water control structures and enhanced the wetlands management of nearly 6,000 acres. That's beautiful fish, folks. Look at that cut. Beautiful colors. Now, you'll notice that they've got red on their, on their anal fins, pectoral and anal fins, and that's one of the markings of of uh, a cutthroat. Not only is it these throat markings, but these red fins right there. And that's just a gorgeous fish. Perfect. Oh! Okay. And here he goes. I guess it's a good thing we got it. Sorry about that. That's Took all forever. right. That's okay. Hey, there's our first big cutthroat. Day's just getting started. You know, this is the style that you want to throw. You know, this happens to be a Lucky Craft Pointer 78. This is a Yozuri. Um, you know, a variety of colors, but this Ghost Minnow, this Aurora Blue, uh, anything in a trout pattern. This is uh, a Rapala. One of the things I like about the jerkbait, too, is that you can fish different water columns with it. I mean, we've been fishing in two and three feet of water. That big cutthroat you got right up against the bank in very shallow water. You know, if you try to fish a standard crankbait or if you're trying to fish a jig or, or other, you know, minnow imitating baits, you're going to get hung up a lot. Oh, right at a toad, right here at the... Oh, he may come off. He may come off. No, 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 don't pressure. Let him run a little. Oh, how do you hold this thing? Push it, pull that push down like that really hard. This whole thing slides okay. down. You don't even need to push that button. Just push her down. Yep. And then push hard and it'll... Yeah, keep pushing hard. Oh my gosh. All right, dude, he is barely hooked. If, if you believe him, I, I can't see him for the sun. Oh, there you go. Oh, not even open. The net's not even open. Oh, that's a quality fish. Yes, it is. Oh, that's nice. I told you this is a good little cove right well, here. It's nice. It's out of the wind. We pulled into this cove. I was telling Steve, we, you know, a little bit of a breeze. So I said, let's just pull up into this cove where I've caught a few cuts before on the jerk baits. We're sitting here talking about the jazz, and uh, we roll in here, second cast. I've almost got the jerk bait to the boat. He runs right up. Steve and I are watching him. Boom! Just takes it. Take a look at that fish. That's just a quality 20-inch cut. Look at the colors. He's healthy. He's got a great-looking body on him. Just get him in the water. Turn him a little bit right like Boom. We'll look at him glide away. That's sweet. That's, uh, that's what you love about spring fishing. One of the things Steve and I are learning, we've been talking about it, as the day's gotten warmer, we're seeing more and more big cutthroat. Early in the morning, it was all rainbow trout, you know, and it was 19 degrees. Now we're probably up in the 30s. Fish are warming up. Sun's had a time to work on the water. And, you know, in 36 degree water, these trout need a little time in the sun to get the metabolism going. So, really cool. I got Steve to work on my net, kind of become my net boy. There we go. Oh, nice. That'll be a cut. He's right at the boat. Right oh, that's not gonna... the rainbow. Dang. <laughs> He's, he may be no bigger than the, uh, than the bait. That's, yeah. one, that's one I'm hardly getting my hands wet on. 
Yeah, he came to the, again right at the boat. Yeah, that's where you're debating whether or not it's worth going in after yeah. him and getting wet or if you can shake him off. Look at this. He doesn't have a hook in his mouth. That was not worth getting your hands wet for. Oh, they, oh. Uh, there we go. Dude, a little nice. aerial. A little airborne. I'm, I'm trying to keep him in frame for you, Kevin. He's just not cooperating. You know, it's nine feet, but this bay is just, it's just uh, protected enough and it gives them, they can run up in the back and feed, push the bait fish up the back. Steve's hoping he'll shake off. I am. He's only got the front hooks in him. There was a dry hand release. Now you gotta like a cooperative fish. There we go. Yeah, you go. Oh, it's a little rainbow. Falling, yep. So, why is it? I get oh. stuck. There you go. Long line release. Sweet. Nice job. Yeah. Perfect. Didn't have to get my hands wet. Nice little rainbow. Just had a huge fish follow my jerk bait in. Absolute toad. So, cadence is everything, man. Got to, you know, that pause is when they're taking it. So when you cast in your jerk bait, it's jerk, 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 pause, twitch, twitch, pause. That seems to be where they're picking it up is on the pause. There we go. There it you is go. a big fish. It's a cutthroat. This is a big fish. Got a nice one. Come in for a healthy car special, only $39.95. Spring has arrived here at the Ken Garf American Fork Ford dealership and they're doing some spring cleaning by blowing out all the new 2011 Fords. They've got to go to make room for the 2012s. Now, they've got trucks like this with savings of up to $12,000. Other Ford cars and vehicles with savings of up to $10,000. So come on in, come visit my good friend, Big Bill Snape. He's going to set you up with your new Ford vehicle and send you home with a smile on your face. KenGarFord.com for the past 12 years, we've been filming climbers all around the world. When we're up in the backcountry shooting, we need to have a power solution that's lightweight, rugged, and dependable. We've got a lot of gear with us that we have to keep powered up. We need to be in the moment and be ready and do our job, which is to capture the image and not have anything go wrong. And for us, the Goal Zero kit is the perfect solution. When you say the Rifleman's Rifle, you're talking about the legendary Winchester Model 70. Today's Model 70 features a hammer-forged free-floating barrel, smooth action, and massive claw extractor. The all-new MOA trigger boosts accuracy and feels incredible. Zero creep, zero take-up, and zero over-travel add up to one-inch groups at 100 yards. And it's still made in the USA. This is a rifle you want to own. You know, how many times have you been out fishing and you got your sunglasses and as it gets a little bit warmer off that cool morning, they start fogging up as you, you heat up. Yeah. This product is incredible. Just a quick shot inside and outside and you grab your blue goo soft rag and just wipe them down and it does a couple of things. One, it cleans them crystal clear, but it puts an anti-fog coating on there that'll last for about five days and you'll notice that your glasses, if you're out working in the yard, whatever you're doing, as you start sweating, you're running, there's no fog buildup on those lenses. Absolutely an incredible product. And they're just crystal clear. So hey, not that's, a, that's the world through rose-colored lenses. Absolutely, that's how I see things, dude. Just a quick little hit like that. Take even, your, even Kevin looks better. Even Kevin looks better. He's now looking through blue goo lenses. And right there, man, you guys look clean, you look crisp. Check them out, bluegoo.com. It's the best anti-fog and lens cleaner you'll ever buy. Air temperature's up and we're up uh, 37.1, so we're up a full degree. Pick up a degree. Picked up, and that'll make a difference with trout. Nice. Better fish. Well, yeah, maybe. No. Nah, no. Not great. They sure want to stay up. There we go. All I had to do is give them a little slack. Perfect. The long line release, okay? 
When you've been around 100 million years, you just realize this cold water, no, a little slack, they're good to go. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice. Let's sit down. You know, it's a ton of fun having him here because one, he's a heck of an angler. I mean, he's fished bass, he's fished trout forever, does a radio outdoor show, does his special outdoor programs, but it's also fun listening to all the stories about the jazz. Just hear fun, unique stories and... Uh, some are almost true. Some of them are almost true. Another easy release, perhaps? Nice. Well, there's one Dude, of them. There's one. That's a small little one. Kevin's not taking any pictures of mine anymore. He goes, it's going to come off. As soon as I start rolling, it'll come off. Dude, they love that Aurora Blue. They sure do. I mean, that has been You thought I had shortchanged you. I thought maybe, just maybe, you gave the guest the, not, not the lousy bait, but one that just wouldn't quite produce as much as the host. There we go. Wow, look at you. There we go. You are on, oh. Yeah, did you get one too? I had a, I had a hit. Yeah, mine came off. There we go. Nice. Uh, another spinner. I'm the king of the small rainbows. That's what I got to tell you, right? The There's king... something with your twitching cadence that they really it, like. It... There we go. There and it's go. a big fish. It's a cutthroat. This is a big fish. Got a nice one. Oh, look at that fish. All right. Push that bad boy forward. Okay. Look at that. That's, quali nice. that's quality cut. Okay. You don't like my skeeter net. I don't do like you? your net at Pull all. Pull it apart right here. Pull that other just side. Okay, Boom. there we go. No, I don't like your net, but I like your fish. Very nice. All right. Well, Steve, I gotta thank you for coming. It's been a privilege to have you out here with us. You know, I've watched you since I was little, always enjoyed you, and I look forward to every jazz game because of you. And uh, what an honor to be out here and fish with you. Hey, it's my pleasure, and this is the, the first time I've really had uh, some extended jerkbait fishing, so I wanna thank you. I learned a lot today, and it was a lot of fun. And boy, to end on a quality fish like that, it's a pleasure to be here. It's awesome, well, I'll tell you what. Folks, I hope you've, I hope you've learned something. Hope you've enjoyed today's adventure. We're talking Steve Brown. He is Mr. Outdoors and Mr. Sports here in Utah. Tune in next week. Sayonara. Sayonara. <laughs> Stay hooked on Utah, my friends. <laughs>